Howdy, howdy, what's going on, guys? Welcome to the video for Tower of Fantasy. My name is Vinicius Stu. What's good with you? All right, guys, so despite mine and probably everybody's reservations about Face C, about it being a not free to play character, and some might even say it's a very bad DPS character, I still really enjoy having Face C on my team. I enjoy my investment, and I like the character playing with it. It's fun, especially when you're like, okay, well, I'm not going to be the best DPS, but I will be the most fun DPS. And it's all about having fun at the end of the day, right? So, so this this team I'm going to show you is kind of unorthodox, but it gets the job like literally done. And you're probably going to look at it at first and be like, bro, you're faded. And I'm going to be like, okay, well, just listen, watch to the end, and then you'll understand. Now, really quickly, before I show you that team, if you're new here, if you've never seen me one of my Tower of Fantasy videos before, I want to first say thank you for coming to my channel and checking it out. And then after this video is over, if you did enjoy it, you saw something that you like, come on back to my YouTube channel, click the link to my YouTube channel, and check out the playlist that I've made for Tower of Fantasy. Since Tower of Fantasy has come out on PlayStation, I have made probably two to three videos per day on the game uh, of guides, gameplay, stuff that you might know. There are stuff that you don't know that you don't know that you might find out on my channel. So come on to my channel, turn notifications on so you don't miss an upload, don't miss a live stream because I stream the game most nights, and just check out some of the videos. Look at some of the titles and see if they don't like interest you. You might find out something that you just didn't know. All right, so with all that being said, I'm going to show you this team and listen, you're going to say I'm faded, but I promise you I'm not faded. Let's check out this team. All right, so you see it right here. There's no like hiding it, no trying to cover it up. I've got Leowa. She's on the banner right now as I'm making this video. If you don't have Pine Comet, you need Pine Comet because this is probably the second best DPS weapon in the game right now. And then of course we have the Endless Boom. That's Phase C. That's the, the main banner character right now. Ooh, look at that. And then... Ooh, look at that. No, uh, seriously. And then we have Mimi. Mimi's work is not done, boys. If you are part of Team Mimi, raise your hand, say I, I. Mimi's work is not done. She is a defense character, a fortitude character, but she literally still carries. And this is even, this is even, boys, listen, this is even when I'm using my fire set. This is like my fire armor. All of these things have flame attack and probably none of them have bolt attack on them. And if you look over at my Wanderer stats, my flame attack is at 18,000 right now. I'm not in Ignisville or anything like that. And then my bolt attack is at 13,000. And it, Mimi's still going to carry, but actually. So Mimi's job is not done. I don't know. I put this team together because I was just like, bro, what do I got to do here? I either got to get more DPS or I got to get a support character on my team because I take damage. And uh, once I put Mimi on the team with her shields, with her just fortitude defense capabilities it greatly greatly augmented my ability to put out damage safely uh when doing frontier clash and that's what i'm about to do right now let's go take a look at it now after i do the frontier clash i'm going to show you the weapon chips that i'm using on all three of the weapons so be sure if you just want to skip to the end of the frontier clash and see the damage or you just want to skip to see what weapon chips i have on the weapons go ahead and do that but i greatly i urge you to watch the gameplay all right, so let's see how we uh, fare in this. There's a lot of phase C. Okay, somebody's using land. That's a good call. All right, so we got a land. We've got Leowa, one of them's got. All right, so let me switch my relics out so I have the most damage possible. I don't know where the other one's at. All right, I don't know what the timing is at right now, so I'm just gonna throw these out there and then throw out that domain and then go ahead and throw that out there and let's just attack with <laughs> me, me and put ourselves in the lead really quickly. And this is all still not using any like Volt gear. It looks like Swiftly is uh Okay, so what we're gonna do here now is we'll switch to Face C, use the Face C ult, and then I love the animation and then we're gonna switch right over to Pine Comet and hit that Pine Comet. I've got Huma's weapon chips on my Pine Comet. I'll show you all about that in just a second. But let me ask you a question here. Is it just me or does it take, look, I'm, I'm getting caught in damage. I gotta go ahead and put myself back in the lead really quickly by doing it. Oh wait, I can, oh shucks. It, it died too quickly. It died too quickly. All right, so let's put another Fantasia out there. Let's switch over. Actually, I need to do it. Go ahead and do this. All right, so listen, is it just me or is it taking longer and longer to get into a Frontier Clash nowadays, right? I don't know, it used to be Frontier Clash. It's like the middle of the day and it was super difficult to get into one. All right, we'll do this with this so we can get some illusions out there 
and pop that and then do the dodge skill. Oh my gosh, bro. I'm still, I can't believe I'm winning in damage like this. All right, so we'll put another Fantasia out there. Uh, not a Fantasia, but a uh, Illusion or whatever. Let's switch back to me, 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 me. And I don't know where the uh, enemy's at. I guess they're over here. Whatever. I, brother, so much animation. I have no idea where they're at. So this person swiftly, 18 mil that this person has. I'm still kind of winning. Okay, I'm, I'm doing pretty good. Yeah, Mimi sort of still carries. Let's do this now. Put one of those out there. Let's hit the uh, Pine Comet alt and then the Pine Comet skill. The Pine Comet dodge. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Okay, and then let's go ahead and face C it up. Let's do a face C combo. We haven't done a face C combo yet. Ooh, did you see the land alt? The land alt goes crazy with the uh, Phoenix. I'll probably do a build with that next. Okay, let's do, uh, let, yeah, let, let's meet me because this uh, Elander or Elander or whatever that, that person is starting to get dangerously close to me and we don't like that. And, and again, so the Mimi gives you like shields and healing and that is so beneficial, bro. You need those heals. I can't stress it enough. Let's get the Mimi ult again. Let's see her blow a kiss at you. She just blew a kiss at you. She blew a kiss at me. She don't like you. She likes me more than you. I remember saying that, people. She likes me more than she likes you. You know it was Cap. <laughs> Oh my gosh, probably still say that now. I don't know. Throw the uh, Mimi alt and then go back and throw some stuff out there like this And we got the alt ready for her and blow another kissy kiss and okay, that's it. All right All right, and then this should be the final boss. I love this build because I have my own shields and heals Everybody's got shields and heals. It looks like they're all running Mimi But it looks like I'm ahead in damage though. Now. This is where things might get kind of hairy I don't know. Let's go ahead and Try to put myself ahead and damage a little bit more, and then we'll go straight into the Thalassic Heart. Put the Pine Comet out there. We need some more of those illusions. Oh, whoa, I don't know what just happened, but that little uh, Chiron, the Centaur, he just did me dirty, so I gotta do him dirty er. Dirty er. Is he looking at me? Good, he's not looking at me. Does that mean I'm not the best, like, DPS right now because he's not looking at me? I'm not drawing his aggro? Okay, let's do this. And you know what? I haven't hit a dodge skill. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on? What is going on? Bro, I just got hit with something serious. Oh, you know what? While he's not looking at me, let me just go ahead and pop a food before I die. Because I don't want to die. I'm too young. Oh, what? Is he stunned? He's actually stunned. All right, cool. I got some healing back. And let's put another phase alt. Is it F-E-I space S-E? F F E I space S E or is it all one word? I don't know. It's kind of hard titling these things. I don't want to spell it wrong for my YouTube title. Oh, well, get back from that. I do not want to get hit. Throw another Thalassic Heart out there, and then let's go right into the uh, where did he go? Okay, that's the that's the Pine coming off, man. If you don't have Pine Comet, what are you doing, bro? Two weapons that you definitely need in uh, this new Tower Fantasy Age: Pine Comet and Azure Dragon. Literally the two best weapons. And then, of course, Fiona. I think Fiona is... I don't know. Where would you rate them as, as like, priority-wise? Fiona, Mimi, and Pine Comet. Which one takes the most priority? Which one takes a secondary priority? Which one takes third? I think, right now, Mimi probably takes priority. And if you didn't get Mimi, oh, shame on you. But if you can get Pine Comet, definitely get Pine Comet. Okay, we gotta finish this off with a bang. Let's just keep doing this. We got the Mimi uh, Facey Kisses ready to go. Let's go, she's throwing kisses out there. Let's throw the, the skill, and then let's go right here and throw the skill there, and then back up. Oh, you know what? Let's do the aerial combo, man. Because I haven't done the aerial combo with Pine Comet this entire time. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I don't want to get hit with that. I'm doing good. I don't want to die. I'm too young to die. Let's hit the skill. And that's going to be a Rapski with me getting top DPS. Elite, uh, Fortress Armor is what it is. So let's see this damage. 130.7 mil damage out. Eternadur, 77.9. Swiftly, 70.3. And then Near 12 was getting absolutely carried. All right, and to wrap this video up, I'm going to show you the weapon chips that was running on all three of those weapons. So for the Mimi, the Azure Dragon, as you can see, I'm running a four-piece Mimi set, two-piece set, increased final damage by 7%. After Azure Shockwave lands a hit, increased skill damage by 15% for 30 seconds. This set effect works in the offhand slot. Only the set with the highest star rating will take effect. 
And the four-piece set says, when equipped with at least one Volt Weapon, increase all elemental damage. I don't have another Volt Weapon. Increase all elemental damage by 14% after using Azure Moon, Soaring Dragon, increase crit damage by 6% for 30 seconds. So if I had another Volt Weapon, might increase some damage. All right, so moving on now to the... Endless Bloom. Moving on now to the Endless Boom. That is Phase C. I'm running a two-piece Shiro and two-piece Phase C. All right, so the two-piece Phase C says this. After using any flame weapon or skill or discharge... No, after using any flame weapon skill or discharge, increase all attack by 14% for 30 seconds. This effect works in the offhand slot. Only the set with the highest star rating will take effect. And then, of course, we know what Shiro does. Increase both damage and shattered targets with more than 50% HP by 15%. And those are the uh, weapon chips that I was using. Uh, for the relics, if you want to know what relics I was using, I was using two damage relics. These are probably really good damage relics. Uh, I had the, what is it called? The Space-Time Rift and the Thalassic Heart. All right. All right, so guys, if you did enjoy this video and you want to see more, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up. Let's try to get this video to about 35 likes. That'd be good. And also leave me a comment down below about what you think about this build and any suggestions you might make to it. And tell me, what is your perfect Phase C build? And if you have Phase C, what advancement do you have? All right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Peace out.